Okay, today I'm going to be showing you what happens during rapid depressurization to human blood. So this is my own blood here. I had a medical professional draw it for me so that I could do this experiment. The reason I'm doing this experiment is because I've always wondered what happens during the bends. If you've ever heard of that, that's when divers go down deep in the water and they get down to very high pressures under the water and if they come up too quickly, then they get the bends, which is kind of a condition or sickness you get. And the reason the bends happens is because small little air bubbles form in their blood and other interstitial fluid in the body. If you get these tiny air bubbles in your blood, it can kill you. So I wanted to get my own blood and see if I could recreate the bends in it. And so I'm going to put it under very high pressure and when it's under there, the high pressure is going to cause the air to dissolve into the blood more than it would in just atmospheric pressure. And I'm gonna leave it there for about 10 or 15 minutes to get it to as close to equilibrium as I can get. And then I'm going to rapidly release the pressure as fast as I can. And you'll see a kind of cloud form in the chamber because uh, it, the expanding gas gets very cold and it forms a cloud. But what I'm worried about and what I want you to notice is if you see tiny little bubbles form in the blood when I release the pressure. So notice before we put it in, you don't see any, any little bubbles or anything in there. I've tried to keep it very smooth so that it's a clear liquid without any bubbles from shaking it or anything. The top's open here so that the pressure can get to the blood. Okay, I've got the blood on this sheet here. I'm just gonna set it in here and I'll put my GoPro in there to record it while we're pressurizing and depressurizing and we'll see what happens. Okay, blood in a high pressure chamber. Three, two, one. That's 30 PSI, 40 PSI. Okay, we're at about 60 PSI now. I'm gonna leave this for about 10 or 15 minutes and see what happens when we depressurize it. Okay, let's see the rapid depressurization. Three, two, one. So what we're looking for is those tiny little bubbles there. So those little bubbles form because when it was pressurized, the air was able to dissolve into the blood more than at atmospheric pressure. And then when we release the pressure quickly, those little bubbles dissolved out of the liquid, out of the blood, and formed little tiny bubbles there. So this is the same effect you see in the vacuum chamber when you have water at atmospheric pressure and then you decrease the pressure you see air that was dissolved in the liquid come out of it. Hey everyone, so I just found out I'm going to be featured in CVX Live in Salt Lake City on August 5th. So if you're in the area around that time, remember to stop by, buy your tickets. You can come and say hi to me and I can finally meet some of my fans. And if you're not my fan yet and you're not subscribed yet, remember to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell to be notified when the latest video comes out. Leave me any suggestions you have in the comments section or any questions and I'll try to get to them and I'll see you next time.